I'm logged into Solid Snake server as Oracle user. In this session, we will install Oracle RDBMS software without using GUI using a response file in silent mode. I have already downloaded and unzipped the Oracle RDBMS software in software downloads folder. Under database folder, we have a response folder where there are sample response files. We will copy the db underscore install dot rsp file into our Oracle base folder. This is a sample response file provided by Oracle for installing RDBMS software. Now we'll rename uh, the response file to show the server name for which we are configuring this response file. I will edit the response file. This response file contains several options which are uh, required during the DB installation or the RDBMS software installation. It has the variable name and value. So first thing we'll do is we'll install database software only. So the first thing we are asking here is uh, the Oracle install option will specify install DB software only. Next thing is the host name. Now it is asking us the Oracle inventory group owner will be mentioning that as O install. And here we are specifying the Oracle inventory location. Now the next option to select is the language for this install. We'll say EN which stands for English. And now it is asking us the Oracle home. We'll also specify the Oracle base location. For the type of install or the edition database edition, we'll select it as enterprise edition. Now this option is if we want to customize uh, components under the database. So we'll mention it as a custom install. So we'll change this value is custom install equal to true. In the next step, we will be specifying what components we want to install. By default, it is showing all the possible components, but we will delete all the combinations and we will keep only partitioning option. So I'm remo removing all the default options and I will type partitioning option here. So this section is talking about the operating system groups, uh, which is OS DBA and OS Hopper. So I'm using DBA and O install groups. These are all about the database. We will create a database in a separate section. So right now we are installing software only. Can ignore all those options. Now here uh, we are going to use enterprise manager in a db control mode so we specify db control mode and email notifications are false uh, meaning we'll not get any email notifications most of these options are for the starter db if you want to create database during the database rdbms software install i'm going to ignore all the database related options 
Now this is an important option here. Uh, it is asking us to provide uh, my Oracle support username passwords for getting the updates. Now what we'll do is uh, we will deny uh, to use this option. So we'll specify get the security updates as false and decline security updates true. And uh, with that uh, we are done with specifying all the options we need into a response file. Now we have created a response file so we can use that response file to install the RDBMS software. So our response file is saved in the uh, Oracle base. Now we'll go to the Oracle database software location where I have downloaded and unzipped. We'll use the run installer command. Run installer without any parameters will bring up the GUI, but here we are doing a character mode installation. So we will we'll specify silent option with response file as input and that will start the run installer in character mode which doesn't need a GUI. So now we are invoking the Oracle universal installer because we are using silent mode it is just going to dump all the output to a log file and some of the options onto the screen. It has uh, come to a step where we have to run root scripts. So we have to log in as root user and there are two scripts to execute. First script is in the Oracle inventory folder. Now I'll open another session where I'm connected to solid snake server as root user. I will navigate to the Oracle inventory folder where we have the first script to execute which is orinist root.sh. Now it has completed uh, the first script so you can see the output. Now looking at the second script we need to run that looks like it is in the db home folder and uh, the script name is root.sh. So we'll navigate to Oracle Home. And here is the root.sh script. Now we'll execute this script. And what it is telling us is it is writing all the output to a log file and it is asking us to check the log file. So I have opened another session with the root privileges and we'll look at the log file to see what is the output of the root.sh script. Now here if we notice uh, it is telling us that root.sh has created a oratap file and it has completed the root actions. Even though it says script was aborted we can ignore because all the steps required by root.sh are complete. So we'll come back to the installation screen and now we have finished the RDBMS software installation. And all the install uh, actions are logged into a file. So we can review the log file to see if any failures occurred. It is stored in the Oracle inventory logs folder. Now this is the log file which has the RDBMS software installation output. So first thing we'll do is uh, look at how many lines are in this file. Uh, this log file is very big, uh, nearly 24,000 rows. So we'll just look at the last 10 lines or using the tail command. So mainly here, uh, if we see, it says successfully executed the flow in silent mode and the exit status code is zero and shutdown of the database release to installer has happened. 
So exit code 0 means uh, the installation was successful.